We all have to deal with death and dying at some point in our lives. Care workers may have to deal with it more frequently because of the service users they are working with, older people or those who are terminally ill. The subject of death often creates a lot of fear in people generally, but maybe more so for some care workers who know they will have to deal with death at work. People may not want to think about it because it reminds them of their own mortality. Death is often portrayed in a very negative way. Violent murders are reported in the newspapers every day. Painful deaths are described in documentaries. But it has to be pointed out that many deaths are peaceful and the dying person is surrounded by people they love. Some people, because of their religious beliefs, are looking forward to life after death. This video will help care workers to think about death, dying and bereavement and relate that to how they may perform in their work role if they have to support a dying service user or a bereaved person. There may be many different circumstances in which a care worker has to deal with a death, either at work or in their personal life. The death of a service user, colleague, family member, friend, or a service user may experience a bereavement. Consequently, in the work environment, a care worker may be required to offer practical and emotional support to different people who have been bereaved. Other service users, a service user's family, colleagues. This video will consider how a care worker can help a service user prepare for death, deal with a death, support people who have been bereaved. One of the main objectives of this video is to help you think about death. It's not something that everyone feels comfortable with, depending on how you've been brought up. Some families are very open about death and encourage the expression of feelings. Other people may have been told to put on a brave face and keep emotions hidden. Consideration must also be given to cultural and religious differences and beliefs. As the population ages, many older people are left alone in the world because family and friends have died before them. If a service user does not have anyone to help them face death, then it's important that care staff fulfil the role of being there for the dying person. This video will show how this can be done sensitively. Everyone's life experiences are different. Some people have never been to a funeral until they're well into their adult life. Others may have gone to a relative's funeral at a very early age. A care worker who's never experienced anyone dying may have all sorts of anxieties about having to deal with the death of a service user. I've never seen a dead body before and the thought of it oh, just terrifies me. Some care workers may have never even considered it. I've never thought about it. I mean, death's about old people, not for people like me. But all age groups can be affected by death because it can happen in different circumstances, all of which a care worker might have to deal with. You can never predict with certainty how someone is going to react to a situation until it happens, and everyone handles situations differently. Therefore, it is important to understand how someone may react to the news of a death, but not to expect everyone to experience the stages of bereavement through a logical progression. Common reactions to death are shock, disbelief, numbness. A care worker should never be judgmental about the way in which someone is handling their grief. Well, I don't think he's upset at all. He's not cried once since she died. But before considering the stages of bereavement in depth, we must think about the different types of death. 